Are you wondering how you can actually achieve your goals in 2018? How you can ensure that you're on the best path to getting that future job of your dreams? Well, in this video, we're talking about my top 10 tips so you can have the best 2018 and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. If you don't have the 1% Engineer Kit yet, which is five eBooks, follow the link below. This time of year is a big time of reflection, look back on the last 12 months, and then forecast forward for your future year and hope that you have a better year than the last and then better and better and always be improving your life always be striving to hit your future goals this is something that all successful people do which is why i made this video so that you guys can crush it too so let's jump right into tip number one which is to actually set goals you may think this sounds silly but most people never truly set goals you have to write them down you have to announce them you have to talk about them with your friends and your family so that you create accountability for yourself and your goals because if you internalize it and keep them a secret and don't write them down and don't think about them and don't actually set targets for what you're trying to do chances are you will never actually achieve your goals zig ziglar famously said if you aim at nothing you will hit it every time <laughs> leave a comment below and let me know what is your top goal for 2018 tip number two is to get started the most challenging part of trying to accomplish great things whether that's getting your future internship or getting more experience or getting better grades or getting your first full-time job in the summer applying for scholarships check out the scholarship video that i just released is to actually get started on that search get started on the work begin the process it's so hard to actually get started but once you do momentum will carry you through newton said it himself objects in motion are harder to stop once they are in motion and you will feel good about achieving little things along the way and you will keep going it's called the snowball effect so once you get going on achieving your goals and you're working towards them, nothing will be able to stop you, but you have to get started. Tip number three is to create a plan. Yes, you need macroscopic goals for your year, what you're trying to accomplish in 2018, but you actually need to be realistic with your goals. You need to make sure that you're not creating insurmountable objectives for yourself because then you will be reluctant to even work on them. Set the bar high, but if you set truly achievable goals for 2018, what you can then do is create actionable tasks that you can work on each day that gets you closer to that goal. Otherwise you will be confused and frustrated as to how you can actually hit your goals. A few examples for this is that if you want to get that job at Google or Apple or Amazon, apply to jobs five times a week, send three networking emails, each week have coffee or lunch or have office hour meetings with professors once a week or once every two weeks set true goals and then deploy the action such that you're inching towards those goals how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time tip number four is self-awareness in order for you to be your best self in 2018 you need to be fully aware of everything that's going on within yourself. You need to face the fact that you have things that you can work on. You need to face the fact that you're not so good at certain things. You need to face the fact that you could probably spend more time to put in effort to work on these things that you can be doing such that you hit your goals in your career, in your student journey, building more relationships, whatever you're working on. Most of us convince ourselves that we're great at everything, that we're doing everything that we can to be awesome, but that is so false. The true definition of leadership is to acknowledge that we can always be improved we can always be learning we can always be surrounding ourselves with people who are better at certain things than us and learning from them and finding mentors be aware of yourself be aware of your strong points where you can improve what you can be doing better to achieve success in 2018 tip number five is to invest in yourself and what this means is in order to be successful and in order to achieve awesome goals in your life it starts with being the best you that you can be what i'm talking about is to be a better listener you'll build better relationships this way to generate more emotional intelligence to be empathetic with those around you to really understand what they're going through so that you can connect more deeply with the people that you meet be more present put your phone away actually be there enjoy the moment you cannot control the past. You have no ability to dictate the true future, but you can be present right now. 
You can pay the most attention in class. You can pay the most attention during that interview, during that job fair conversation. It's also very important that you have the attitude to always be learning in general and to never stop growing. The minute that we think we have everything figured out is the minute that you lose because someone else is out there working towards those same goals that you have. And the minute that you stop learning, the minute that you stop investing in yourself, that person is passing you and will get that job that you want. Tip number six is to shift your mindset. Some of you have probably heard me mention Carol Dweck's book called Mindset and how a growth mindset and a positive optimistic outlook is far better than a fixed mindset. This to me is mandatory for success in 2018. You have to believe, you have to know that whatever you're trying to do, even though it's hard and it's a struggle, you're going to be able to get through it. You're going to be able to grow. You're going to be able to learn. You're going to be able to accomplish these micro tasks each day so that you can hit your macro goals. Because if you start off on your job search by thinking, you know, I probably don't have the best shot of getting this job at Google, then you're not gonna get that job at Google. It's a self-defeating attitude because if you think that way, you're going to put in less time for the application, less energy on the essay. You're gonna be less charismatic on the phone. You're not gonna use the right vocabulary in the emails and you're shooting yourself in the foot by even believing that you're not good enough. So you have to just know that if you put in the time, you put in the work, you will hit your goals. You have to believe, you have to shift your mindset. You have to think as positive as possible each and every day. Tip number seven is do not waste your time. This tip is connected to self-awareness and you need to understand that we all have the same amount of time. We each have 24 hours in the day that we can use and we never get that time back. It's the most precious asset that we have on the planet. And people commonly say, I don't have enough time for that. I hate that, that is ridiculous. We all have the same amount of time, including Oprah Winfrey and Elon Musk and everyone else who has ever accomplished big things. It's how we manage our time. It's what we make time for. So if you wanna get that job of your dreams, if you wanna get into the grad program of your dreams, if you wanna start doing research with your professors or whatever you are trying to accomplish in 2018, you need to make sure that you are grinding every day. You need to make sure that you are putting in the time to be great because again, if you're not, someone else is and that person is passing you. So change the way you look at how you use your time. Sure, take breaks, yes, hang out with your friends and family, but you need to make sure that you are working and spending time every day to accomplish your goals. Tip number eight is to continue to surround yourself with better people. I've said this in a bunch of other videos before guys because it is so so important. Jim Rohn said that we are the average of the five people that we spend the most time with and this is very true. Imagine how baller you would be if you spent the whole year with Mark Zuckerberg and Carol Dweck and Oprah Winfrey and Elon Musk. Anyone would be 100 times smarter at the end of that year by being around those people. So you need to deploy this in your life. You need to spend more time with people who are going to bring you up who you can help and add value to as well, but people who are gonna push you and challenge you such that you can learn from them. You need to find more mentors. You need to spend more time with your professors, people who are going to make you awesome instead of bringing you down, being negative, having a closed mindset, and not shooting for that job at Google, Amazon, Facebook, not shooting for the stars because that's what 1% engineers do. We hang out with awesome people. We surround ourselves with greatness so we can achieve the best stuff, the greatest things in this world. Tip number nine is to take your health very seriously in 2018. And before I get into health tactics, I want you to first envision that you are the coach of an Olympic team. Whatever sport you want, it doesn't matter. But if you were able to dictate your team's diet, how much they slept, their mental space, if they use drugs, drank alcohol, anything like this, would you let them eat crap? Would you let them drink too much all the time? Would you let them use drugs? Would you let them pull all-nighters? No, of course not. We need to start being more serious about our own health. And that goes for mental health, that goes for what you eat, exercising, getting enough sleep in 2018, because this is so paramount to having enough energy, to having the right attitude, to be capable of deploying what we need to do each and every day to make sure that we're hitting our goals. So take your health seriously, guys. And the most important thing here is exercise. The release of endorphins, what it does to your brain chemistry and your positivity is just so incredible. I started exercising about a year ago and it is just so important. The way it makes you feel after you've exercised is key. So make sure you're being healthy, make sure you're eating right, make sure you're taking your health seriously in 2018, guys. And tip number 10, this is probably the most important tip, but you need to work really hard this year. Your actions 
What you do with your time, what you do each day, you need to reflect your goals. No one in this world who has achieved great things has just had things happen to them, has just had things fall into their lap. The people who have been born with everything, the trust fund babies of this world, we don't even know about them. They've never had to do great things. They've never had to work really hard. They've never had to execute to change the world because they've just been given everything. The people who are your role models, all the people that I've mentioned in this video, most of them have come from nothing. They have built this dream. They have worked super duper hard in order to get to where they are. So don't fall into this trap of thinking that, oh, this person has this success because they had this advantage or that advantage. Do not do that. It's crap. Erase it from your mind. Focus on yourself, your goals, and do what you can do each day to follow your dreams. And if you actually set goals, if you get started, if you have a plan for what you could do each day, if you're true to yourself, if you're self-aware, if you spend each day investing in yourself to become a better person, if you have the best mindset, if you believe in yourself, if you know that what you're trying to do is going to come true and you don't waste your precious time, you surround yourself with great people and you treat your body like you're an Olympic athlete and not some landfill. And if you work really, really hard, each day you will be able to go to sleep satisfied and wake up excited at what you're going to accomplish in this day. Because if you're deploying these tips and working hard each day, you're one step closer to achieving your goals. And to get there, you have to do the things that most people won't so you can have the life that most people can't. In closing, guys, my final message is that working really hard is what successful people do. And we as 1% engineers, we're gonna be successful, so we need to make sure that we're doing that. I hope you enjoyed this top 10 list of things that you can do to accomplish your goals in 2018. If you did, consider subscribing because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. Leave a comment below if you need help with anything and let us know your goals for 2018. And as always, guys, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.